Hello everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back. Here to do another Vendor Wax Haul video. So this will focus on what I got from Super Tarts. It was a ready to ship um, order. Um, honestly, I probably shouldn't be filming right now. So um, my my night plans have just, well, some, some things have gone to plan and some things haven't. Um, we just had an hour power. We've had a whole bunch of storms go through um, and we've had a power, the power was out for an hour. I was literally just getting myself ready to go to bed because there was nothing else to do. Um, and then the power came back, so I decided to get this done. But I've got, um, I did my, um, purple hair mask this evening. So my hair is just absolutely just, because I'm leaving that in overnight, because I just can't be bothered washing it out tonight. Uh, so my hair looks fabulous. And my hair's are purple. Um, it'll be gone by tomorrow. So there's all of these reasons why I probably shouldn't be filming this video right now. But I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> So, super tarts, yes, so like I said, ready to ship. Um, this is how I'm trying to do my super tarts now. So, um, rather than doing weekly pre-orders, which just tends to be a lot of small orders, I'm trying to wait and um, just go all in. Every couple of months they do a ready to ship and I go in on that. Um, so it worked out this time. I had a few things from Fright Night that I wanted, but not enough to justify, because Look, if a pre-order has, say, 10 clams or more then maybe that I want, then maybe I'll go into it. Um, but if it doesn't, then I won't. Um, and yeah, Fright Night wasn't quite at that mark. I did do the Chris Melts pre-order, but I didn't do Fright Night. But I've got a few <laughs> Fright Night items here. I feel like I'm rambling. Anyway, um, so one sample. Uh, the sample is Fake and Bake. Uh, I have Fake and Bake wool, actually... What do I have? I have one sample at the moment and I have one clam and I just got another half band from a um, from a D stash. It's oh god, my brain is not working tonight. Um, zucchini bread, sugar cookies, and sweet cream, and it is just an amazing staple bakery. I love blending it, I love melting it solo. It's just To me, it's just a really dense, delicious cookie scent. The zucchini bread is there, but to me, it just enhances the cookie. It's just, it's really delicious. So I love, love, love bacon bake. Uh, so clams. That's the other, the other thing I should mention, and the reason why going ready to ship works for me now is because um, I'm really trying only to buy clamshells these days. Um, I just find uh, clamshells are easier to store and just easier to use. So. Uh, that's my preference and in ready to ships you don't get band bags you only get clamshells so it works for me um so the first thing I have and this is the first time I've had one of her new um labels this is Eden this is pomegranate apple cider toasted marshmallows I don't know what this was before um I do I have mixed feelings about the new labels and I know it's kind of like a back to the future type thing because um, my fingers are so purple, um, because she used to have labels like this, and I know a lot of people love them. I do love them individually, I think they are really cute, um, but I kind of preferred my collection to have, like, themed labels. Like, when I look at my collection at the moment, it's really easy to go, oh, just from the top I can go, oh, there's the blender scents, there's the coffee scents, there's the... These new labels will make that harder. So, yeah, in terms of aesthetics, probably like these a lot, but practicality kind of for the old system. But you know what? Plenty of people p p didn't like the labels that she's had up until recently, so can't win them all. That's just how it is. Um, so this one is, oh, pop it out, nice sort of red colour. I got this because I was just curious because I've been enjoying pomegranate scents lately. And I actually think I will like this. The mass the the sweetness of the marshmallow really just kind of because apple cider can be a little bit acidic, but also a bit sickly. But the creaminess of the marshmallow really kind of just I don't know, does something good in there. I like that one. It is still thundering out there. I'm not sure if you can hear it or not. It's not as loud as it was, but uh, I can't read that one from the screen. 
Orchid Orange Marmalade. So this is chocolate orchid buttercream sugar cookies and orange marmalade. So this was Augustus, I think. Or maybe something else. It was from like her Wonka uh, scents. And I really enjoy uh, chocolate orchids, so that's why I went, well, this one's probably going to be pretty good. Mm, I smell a lot of chocolate orchid on the top. On the bottom, I get more of the marmalade. I smelled this when it first arrived and I wasn't a fan, but today I'm liking it. Like the sweetness and the kind of really sugary orange marmalade just... It blends quite nicely with that chocolate orchid. Chocolate orchid is not chocolate. It's it's kind of perfume like and it almost feels smoky. It's not smoky, but I don't know. It just kind of gives that vibe for me. But um, I I really like it. So that scent's not bad. Mediterranean frost. So this is blood orange spearmint and sweet amber. This one I think was Dracula previously. So I have had this one before. And I did, oh, it didn't look cracked, but it was cracked. Um, yeah, this is one I do enjoy. Um, Supertarts is one of the few brands I like their spearmint. It is a little bit spearmint heavy right now, but I feel like maybe with some cure time or just the way it melts, I don't think it was that heavy on it. I'm sorry if my purple, <laughs> purple people eater hands are distracting. I should wear gloves when I put colour treatment in, but, you know, I'm so lazy. Yeah, so it's a bit heavier on the spearmint than I remember it, but I don't feel like it melted that way. So we shall see. This is cracked in the worst way possible. It's like each piece has like little things. And then this is, so you have to sort of assemble, assemble it outside of the clamshell and then put it back in because otherwise or just break the bits um because yeah it's just the worst possible type of cracking okay. there we go minimal mess a little bit of mess okay so that's that one all right so the next one i didn't actually order uh, so morning walk. Uh, this is brisk air, morning dew, four layers warm amber and dirt. Used to be pet cemetery. I actually I went through back through my invoice, which I rarely do, but I knew I didn't order this. Um, and I ordered um, what was misery. I think it's called harvest baking now, uh, like pie crust and four leaves. And they must have accidentally sent this one, so it's fine. Uh, morning walk. I won't pop this one out, it's a bit cracked. I don't mind Morning Walk. I just I used to love it. When I first encountered it, I loved it. It was my favourite dirt scent. And it's still the probably the best dirt scent around for me, but I'm just not super into dirt scents anymore. But I do really love the um like the dew and her four leaves oil is amazing. And just the the amber just gives it this kind of polish. So it still smells very fresh and earthy and stuff, but there's just a slight kind of high-end vibe as well. So I do really enjoy it, but um, I think I've still got at least one more clam of it. And the last clam I finished of it, I was like, I'm really just not melting it enough. I'm really just not into those dirt scents. So that's fine. The label is very lovely. Fizzy Papayas. So this is Fizzy Papaya Soda and Lollipop. This used to be, I think it was Dr. Jekyll. There's Dr. Jekyll and, Doc, and uh, Dr. Hyde, I think. And I think this one was the Jekyll one. I love it. I love her papaya oil, her soda, and her lollipops. It's just... This is just the perfect, fizzy, sweet, fruity blend. Like... One of the first fizzy sort of fruity blends that I fell in love with. And I've kind of gotten over fizzy scents a little bit, like in the, over the last summer or two. But this one I still really love. So yeah, I'm happy to have. I don't need huge amounts of it because like I said, I just, I melt, I'm, I, I melt fizzy, fizzy scents sometimes in summer, but not like crazy. And it, I definitely don't melt them outside of summer. So 
definitely didn't need too much of that. Sorry, the, the purple's distracting me. Uh, Mother of Dragons and Lemon Squeezy. So Satsuma, Pineapple, Lollipops, Ice, Lemonade and Blackberry. So the Satsuma and Pineapple is Mother of Dragons and then the Lollipops, Ice, Lemonade and Blackberry I guess is Lemon Squeezy. I, Lemon Squeezy is an interesting name. It's the Old Mouse Ears plus Blackberry, which I think was Waltz. Um, so yeah, I don't know. It's okay. It's a bit, I feel like there's a big muddle of fruits going on in there and nothing's really shining. It's all a little bit muddled together and murky. Like it does smell good, but yeah, I'm, I'm not sure if it's the best combo, um, but we'll see how it melts. It might, it might transform. I got another clam of four leaves. So four leaves, her four leaf scent is incredible. And I am in fact eyeing off, she's got more on the website on ready to ship at the moment. And I am tempted to get some more. And it, I've, I just placed an order today. She did, um, I keep saying she, they, cause it's her and her husband, it's Brandy and Brady. Um, they did a sale today where I think they had like odds and ends, like extras from band bags and a few extra shapes. I did place an order a, a, a kind on the smaller side order, like, well, 10 items is not small, but I bought smaller weighted things. Um, so I could probably go back in and place another little ready to ship order to combine with that. Cause her four leaves is just, it's not like any other vendors four leaves. I'll tell you that it's, I think it has like almost like a crackling fire element to it. Oh, it is just so good. So I love it in her blends and I love having it um, to blend with as well. Got two of this. So spread the love. So this is blackberry jam, zucchini bread, toasted mallow. Used to be jackal. Um, and this one's cracked on the other one. I was a bit concerned because I think I've run out of jackal recently. Uh, but. Now I'm good because I've got this and I ordered some from a D stash as well. So, because this one is just my absolute favorite blackberry jam bakery scent. Like, oh, and just the densest of the zucchini bread in there as well. It is incredible. This scent is just incredible. It's addictive to smell. Like, it smells so good. So, yeah, I love, love, love that one. I need to melt it more often. I tend to sit on it a little bit, um, but it's just an absolute favorite of mine. Uh, so pumpkin pecan waffles. So I wanted to smell hers on its own. Often when I get um, these like individual scent blending clamshells, I do it, cause it's the color, um, I do it to smell the oil so I can get familiar with it, think about it, you know, I can kind of better compare it to other vendors and what they have. Um, I mean, I also love blending with them, don't get me wrong, but really I'll sort of get it just to kind of get a sense of what their oil smells like, you know, because it's hard sometimes to know exactly when it's in, always in blends. Um, and it is good. The other thing about her pumpkin pecan waffles is she has it in a few blends, but there's really only one blend that I enjoy it. Hotel Cortez, that one is amazing. Um, but everything else, she tends to lean towards blending it with like butter brickles or really kind of dense, rich, sweet scents. Oh, she's got one with lavenders, which is not my thing at all. Um, I will say hers is not my absolute favorite pumpkin pecan waffles. It is a bit more on the sickly syrupy side. Yeah, it is nice, but it is... Um, Yeah, it has a, a really thick, sticky kind of syrupy note. Um, so, yeah, not my favourite of the pumpkin pecan waffle oils, but still very good. Embers. So this is orange campfire marshmallow fluff and buttercream. This is one of the only scents that I buy to blend. Um, 
And it's not that it's, there's, no, there's nothing wrong with it on its own. Um, I've just discovered a blend with it that is so crazy good that, and it's basically just this and fake and bake. I'm sure you could do it with other bakeries too and you probably get the same outcome, but fake and bake is a really solid contender for this. And don't get me wrong, I like it, like, smokiness, sweetness, orange, it is nice, but something about putting in that fake and bake bakery, it just, it does something to this scent. This scent used to be called Are You Afraid in the Dark? Um, and yeah, love that for blending specifically with fake and bake. Palo Santa would probably go well in, in that whole combo um, as well. Indian Summer, very pretty label. So vanilla bean, clementine and honey. I haven't had this one before. I think it was Chucky is what it used to be called. Anyway, um, so most of the clamshells are cracked, which doesn't really bother me, but it's just, I still don't quite know why it happened. This, this reminds me of something. Okay, so the honey note. I smelled in our other honey scents, but I thought it was something else. It has a musky quality to it. It doesn't actually smell really like honey. It's sweet, but then there's a muskiness, and then the citrus is really nice. So I like that. It reminds me a lot of, I think it's My Lady. Um, and the scent is also in, there's another scent. It's probably got a new name now. It was called Indiana Jones, and I can I recognize that scent in that as well, but I didn't like that blend. But this one and My Lady are pretty good. Uh, strawberry Pound Cake. So I'm not familiar. I feel like she doesn't do a huge amount of blending with Strawberry Pound Cake. Um, yeah, like a lot of other sort of strawberries and cake oils and stuff. There might be one or two blends that have it. Oh, this is really good. I don't know if this is the oil that she uses or that they use in um, any blends, but this, this is the strawberry pound cake. This is the one. This is the one. I would almost be certain this is the same one Teddy Bees uses. Oh, it's so good. It's just dense and delicious and it smells like like strawberry iced cake with strawberry through it. Love that. So that's really good. I swear she doesn't have any blends with that. I don't know. There's one Ruby Slippers and it's probably got a new name as well. And I hated that blend. So I do not think, even though I vaguely recall that said that it had strawberry and pound cake in it, I don't think it had this oil in it because that one had the worst chemical strawberry scent that I've ever smelled. And there's no way my nose would mistake this for that chemical strawberry. So. Bernadette. haven't tried this one before. Uh, sugary milk blueberry pound cake. I do enjoy super tart blueberry bl blends. And I know that this one is quite popular. So I don't know why I've never tried it. Drop some wax on the floor. Hang on. <sighs> Struggling there. Okay. This is nice. It's not, it's actually not super heavily bakery. I mean, uh, it is, it is. But the sugary milk is doing something nice, like not sour or anything. And the blueberry is definitely there, but it's not overwhelmingly so. Like it's definitely very light, but it's not that really strong, sickly blueberry you can get. That's it, I never really find Super Tarts goes overly like that anyway. I really like that. That's really good. Really, really good. Blackberry Mellow Treats. So this was Beauty and the Beast. So blackberry, sweetened cereals, marshmallows, and sugary milk. Um, so I tend to just go through clams at a time. I pick this up every six months or so. It's blackberry and magically delicious, and it's just delicious. The blackberry is just zingy and fruity and her magically delicious just goes so well with it too so i love that another blueberry scent so this is beast blueberry and cornbread i've had this before a few times love it i love it in there's a scent called zeus which is ice cream 
coffee blueberry cornbread. Um, it's not called Zeus anymore. I don't know what it's called now. But her cornbread is just one of my favourite cornbread oils. It doesn't smell like super savoury like a lot of cornbreads do. It smells, um, smells more like it's in the zucchini bread family. And this one, yeah, it's just got the perfect amount of um, blueberry. So love that one too. Blackberry and strawberry soda. So I haven't had this from her. Uh, blackberry strawberry soda. It's pretty straightforward. This smells really good. Sometimes these kind of berry soda scents don't work for me. But this is really good. It's really fizzy. And the fruity, it, it actually smells like, like it doesn't necessarily smell like, you know, an artificial, you know, pre-bottled berry soda. It almost smells like you've crushed up strawberries and blackberries and stuff and poured soda water and ice into it. I mean, the berries are strong, but it smells like real berries. Like, it smells like real berries with soda water. That's very good. All right, the next one, I won't lie, and I think I talked about this in the uh, unpack the unboxing video I did. I 100% bought this one for the name and the label. Pistachios. Check that out. It is hilarious. Um... Pistachio, marshmallows, and sugar cookie. So I'm dabbling a bit with pistachio. Um, some oils, some vendor scents of pistachio have been okay with. Um, a lot I still am not with, but anyway. Yeah, and no, this is this is not a pistachio I enjoy. Unfortunately, because I love the label. It just it has a weird tone to it. Kind of there's like this muddiness and then there's something else that I don't like. So oh well. At least I got to see the label. I got two clamshells of corny. So this is uh cornbread fresh peaches, fresh picked peaches and cream. This one was was it thing? Yeah, it was thing. Like I was gonna say it was it. No, it wasn't it. Um, so like I said before, her cornbread is amazing, fantastic bakery blender, and her peach, super tarts peach is just the best peach. She has so many great fruity oils. Like when I think about it, super tarts pineapple is my favorite pineapple. Smells amazing, throws really well. Her peach is my favorite peach. Her blackberry is one of my favorite blackberries. Um, her blueberry tends to be my favorite blueberry. Like I, not that I go for like full on fruity blends with super tarts, but fruit with bakery, her fruit scents just always kill it. And yeah, this is just one of the most delicious peach bakery scents I've ever had. I finished, um, a clamshell of it a little while ago and I was like, why have I not stocked up big time on this? And I probably still should have got, I think the maximum of, number of clams you can get in a ready to ship is three and I probably should have got three of that one but I was just ordering so much I decided two will do. My other favorite peach scent from um, Super Tarts is Sabrina. I think it's called Peaches and Cream now um, but it's basically peaches with Magically Delicious and it is amazing. Banner and Lucky. So this is cornbread, mac, apple, vanilla ice cream, brown sugar, sweet and cereals, marshmallow, sugary milk. So again, so lucky is magically delicious. Um, so it's, yeah, it's basically magically delicious plus banner. Banner is one I enjoyed, but I wasn't like crazy about because I'm not the biggest fan of mac apple, but I do love her cornbread. This smells mostly like banner, but I'm sure if I had banner here to compare to, I would notice the difference. But I'm mostly getting that kind of cornbready brown sugar mac apple scent. It's it's pretty good. I remember that one because she did like this specialty a pre order with some specialty blends, so like blending different um, house blends up. And that's one I didn't get in the pre order, 
because I went, I just don't love banner enough, but I threw it into this order to see, you know, just to see. Apple bake. So this is uh, caramel apples, hot toddy, and French baguette. This used to be Texas chainsaw. And I just finished a clam of this recently and went, oh, I do need to make sure I get more of that one. Because I love her French baguette scent. And caramel apples, like, I'm so fussy with caramel and apple scents, but there's a caramel apple oil, at least one, out there that I really enjoy. I feel like I don't really overly notice a maple toddy. Maybe just adds a bit of richness to it, but it's a really, really nice scent. So I like caramel apple, that caramel apple oil better than like mac apple and stuff like that. And then the last scent is birds. So birds is harvest style pumpkin donuts, brown sugar and buttercream. This one is one of my absolute favorites. I think I have, do I have one clam left? I'm not sure. I know I got sort of towards the end of autumn, um, winter and when I don't have enough of this for next year. So I think I have one clam and I decided to get one more. It's so incredibly unique. Her Harvest Ale is an oil that you just can't get anywhere else. I've not seen it anywhere else. It's related to cider, but it is not cider. And then you just get this kind of spiciness, I think from the pumpkin donuts and just creaminess and... Oh, it is just an incredible blend and a blend that I've just, it's so, so unique. So I love, love, love birds. That's it. That's everything that I got from Super Tarts. So, um, yeah, uh, I've still got a few more videos to do. Three more videos to do. So I've got a bunch of Empire Alchemy sitting over here. I've got a bunch of Sparkles Wax Melts over here. And then over in the box, over in the corner, I have a bunch of Hayden Row. So... Um, yeah, I will leave it there. Um, I hope you're all doing really well and I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye.